This installment is called Appleectomy, or Making Great Applesauce, either one. This video is dedicated to my wonderful wife's friend, Casey, so here it is for you. Hi guys, I have something different for you this time. We're going to be making applesauce. Yes, these are apples right out of my front yard here. And you only need a few little things, but one thing to take into consideration. See those spots there? Yeah, we'll be talking about those spots. That's for the flavor. You don't want to get too carried away with too sterile. Of course, you're going to need some high-quality cinnamon. Don't use the cheap stuff. Make sure to get a good one. Some people like to add a little sugar. I personally like to add a little bit. Not too much. Just kind of keep it sweeter. And this gadget here, you got to have one of these. It's called a core. What it does is it takes and cuts it into eight equal sections so you don't have to do all the knife work. Pretty cool machine. Not very expensive. Will save you a lot of time. But the star of the show, oh, this is my little baby here. It's an apple cutter. It peels the apple for you. Actually, it peels all kinds of stuff. It'll peel potatoes. It'll peel apples. It'll peel, I don't know, all kinds of things. Uh, I've done a sweet potato on it. And it's not very expensive, and it's motorized. Okay, getting back to these imperfections. I like to leave a few imperfections in my applesauce. I don't, I, well, I always cut out the worms. I don't leave the worms in there. But the other stuff, yeah. Now, getting on to my peeler here. It's a wonderful machine. It takes all different kinds of sizes of round type things. You take and you attach it to the base. You push it in there so it's good and solid. And then it's, well, it's kind of, well, it's kind of clunky here, not being able to put my hands where I want them to be because of the camera. But you take and you put the top down. You hold it into place there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get better later. And then you press the button. That's all there is to it. And it does it all by itself. Not only does it peel the apple, but it also, mm, wait for it, wait for it, it turns it off when it's at the bottom. So you don't have to crank it, you don't have to do anything. And then you pull it back up and once again it's kind of clunky not being able to have my hands where I want them because of the camera there. And then look at the apple. Pretty cool, huh? I mean, it works well. Let's try it with a weird shaped apple. Here's one that's all out of shape. Let's see if this machine can accommodate uh, a less than perfect apple. Let's call it that. So you shove it on there. Oh, I'm getting better at putting that down with the camera. Yeah, yeah. So you line up the cutter and then press the button. I know you don't like that sound, so I'll stop that. And off goes the peel, just like that. Now, some people do leave the peel on the apple for applesauce, but I don't like the texture of the peels in the applesauce. And there you have it. Look at that. Pretty cool. Even that weird shaped apple did just fine on the peeler. Well, how about a giganto jumbo apple? Notice I have a nice soft spot on the apple. Got to leave that soft spot in there for the taste. This is like giganto. This is like I thought it was going to be way too big for the machine, but let's see what happens. Sometimes my tree just produces these gigantic apples, which they taste the same. They're just huge. Okay, let's turn it back on again. Round and round and round we go. There it is. Where we stop? Well, actually, I do know where it's going to stop. Looks like it's working just fine. So the giganto apples, the little apples, these peelers work really well. Really good. And I love all this stringy stuff. I know. A guy my age shouldn't play with food, but I love playing with it. So this is the peeler, and it works just wonderful. If you do anything like this, you need to get one. Get one of these peelers. Okay, now we've got a whole bunch of apples. What are we going to do with them? Well, what I like to do is I like to take off that little bit of skin at the top and the bottom that the peeler doesn't take care of. You don't have to. You can leave it in there. It just makes the cutter work better. So you cut a little bit off the top. You cut a little bit off the bottom. More goes into your compost pile, and it makes your life a little bit easier. So take the time 
to cut that little bit of skin off at the top and the bottom. Make them nice and smooth. There. That looks good. Okay. Next thing you want to do is, well, have a glass of wine. Of course you want to have a glass of wine. Well, not everybody, but I do. It just makes the whole process more fun. Now, let me introduce you to this splitter here. I guess I could call it a splitter or a cutter or a core because the core ends up in the middle and it's really sharp. So watch out because it will bite you. And all you have to do is line it up. Of course, get the center part over the core and down we go. Just like that. And you got to push the last little bit through, which is fine. And then you have this beautiful little arraignment of apple sections. And you got the core in the middle back there. Now there is a little bit of, well, uh, residual core sometimes. And there might be a little bit of you know, skin on the end one way or another, but not too much. Okay, so let's try it on the jumbo apple. Come on, jumbo apple. I haven't actually ever tried it on a jumbo before, but let's see if it works. Because I like the, uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, the jumbo's too big, it won't go through. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to actually use a knife. Cut it the old fashioned way, what can I say? Oh well. It'll work on all the other ones, but just not the jumbo apple. So what do you gotta do? You gotta kinda clean it up a little bit. And you don't have to do any of this. I just don't like the mm, harder texture of some of the items that come through. And so I kind of clean them up a little bit, take a little bit of skin off here, a little bit of core off there, and then you're done, just like that. Well, with the slices anyway. Look at that bowl of apple slices. It's ready to go. Well, now we got to cook it up. I used to think you just made applesauce by taking raw apples and putting them in the blender and zipping them together. Ah, uh, not so. You got to cook them. And you gotta cook them with some other stuff to make them taste just right. So we got all these wonderful little consistent bits of apple. So put them in your big pot. Yep, there they are. Gonna be good. I like to put some water in. I start out with about one cup. Sometimes I add a little bit more, but one cup is usually enough. And I like to salt it a little bit. Some people don't care for the salt. I don't put a lot in. I don't eat a lot of salt in my life, but I do put a little bit. Okay, now let's talk about the fire. You can either fire it up high and get it going if you're in a hurry. Personally, I like to make it a pretty low fire. That way it takes its time, comes up easy. You know, you don't want to rush the apple bits because we're not in a hurry here. We're just making good applesauce. That's all we're doing. Well, let's have a look. Ah, it's starting to get hot and you want to remember to stir it regularly you want to make sure that the heat is consistent all the way through it you don't want anything to burn you want that water at the bottom to boil but you don't want some bits of apple to cook up to nothing and other bits of apple to be hard as stone so take care of that yeah there we go it's gonna be good okay it's been cooking a while let's have a look Oh, it's starting to get soft. When the apples are starting to get soft, that's a good thing. Now, you can use a potato masher and smash them up, but I couldn't find mine. I don't know where it is. Used to have one. So, what you can do is take your spoon and smash them up a lot. But remember, low fire. Now that we've been cooking for a while, let's have a look. Okay, things are getting pretty soft. We like that. We like the soft. And sometimes you gotta kinda mush up the lumps a little bit so they're not so hard. And it sure is looking good. It's not quite done yet. No, not done yet, but ah, we gotta put the cinnamon in. And I like, oh, okay, I'll admit it. I like a little more cinnamon rather than less cinnamon. And it's personal preference, you know? It's all about personal preference. So you mix it in, mix it up, changes the whole color whole texture oh yeah oh, I love that smell that oh smell that who cares about the taste I'm all about the smell okay now how about some sugar some people like additional sugar some people do not like sugar I like this really dark brown stuff it's well it's really different it's not your table sugar at all 
So I like to put a little bit in there. You know, add a bit. And, oh, there's a lump. I don't want that lump. Ah, uh, too much sugar there. Gonna make, keep me up all night. So a little more sugar in here, a little more sugar in there. And so it's just entirely to taste here. So don't get carried away. It's better to have a little less sugar in there rather than a little more. And then stir it all up, you know, mix it in. The dark sugar, once again, helps with the color. Oh, wow, that's looking pretty good. Kind of lumpy still, though. I don't like all those lumps. Well, let's work on it. Okay, so we put the mixer in it. And I find, personally, I like a smoother kind of applesauce. Some people like the lumpy stuff, but I like the smoother stuff. So I get it going, you know, and then I really get it going, and then I really, really get it going, so all those lumps get chewed up. Oh, look at that! Wow, that's looking pretty darn good. I like it. I like the smell. I like the... Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. And you can do just as good as I can making this applesauce. It's easy. It's fun. Oh, smell that. Oh, yeah. And what do you end up with? with a whole bunch of containers of applesauce which we freeze some they freeze very good and we eat some and we have them all year long so get out there make some applesauce it's easy especially if you have a peeler and let me know if you like it see you guys thanks for joining me bye bye